Alright, alright you guys, here we go. I didn't really have enough hardener for my uh, project here, but I'm going to try it anyway. Just because that's the kind of girl I am. So it's Veterans Day. So for my veteran son in law, I am creating his color choice. Starting off with clear. I'm just going to move this around, get it in here. I'm hoping uh, this resin will still hide in the way it's supposed to. All right, so his colors were blue, green, and turquoise. So I'm going to mix a little colorant for the green. And a little alcohol ink for the blue. And that's going to be a little bit. Okay. I think I'll use these crystals. What I'm going to try to do is make a little kind of lamp type thing. And I think I'll do my decorations first. Okay, so we're going to have blue, green, and turquoise. Okay, let's do the green. On the outside, the blue. So I'm just going to gently take this and try to pull these colors on top of each other. And since resin gets an attitude like it's just going to do its own thing. It will pull back. Right. So I think in the center, like I started to, I will place the. I'll place this in the center. I was gonna just try to dump them in, but I didn't think that was a good idea. And then I will take some clear, drizzle it on top of my little stones here. And I did, I got this idea from a YouTuber named Doug. I don't want to say her name wrong. Sharon. You guys, I'm going to have to put it in the comments because I really like to look at her stuff that she does and I don't want to steal her stuff but I thought this was an awesome idea she does it on a much bigger scale though so now I mean and it's not entirely like her method but you know give credit where credit's due Let that get in there, and then I don't really know what your favorite favorite color is, but I'm just gonna like kind of drizzle blue, 
vezes a da Queen. Because I want those to stay on. And then, I'll pull this up. And now I'm wishing I had made this. Sharon Lindsley, I think, is the lady's name that I saw do this on a bigger scale. Okay. I want to put some bling on top of here because you know I like some sparkles and stuff like that. And we almost sparkle. Yeah. Wow. No, that looks like a Chelsea piece. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to leave this for a, few, a little while, and then I'm going to create another one. Okay, so let me try to move this out of the way. All right, so with the remainder of our resin, and not that little resin, but oh, that's a sparkle. Okay, before it hardens, which I hope it does harden, and I feel like getting hot, so I'm thinking this resin is going to be very forgiving to me because I was stupid enough to mix it without enough hardener. And you're going to see why I always tell you, you know, no two pieces are going to come out alike, no matter what, anyway. Even if I tried to repeat the steps, which, you know, I can't because I'm old and I forget what I did first and last. No, I'm joking. No, I'm not joking. Kind of joking, but not. Okay. So now I'm going to use the rest of this. So definitely it's going to come out different, right? So I'm going to blow it up. I'm going to green, green. Then I'm going to stretch. Where's my other stretcher? I'm going to stretch it, and hopefully this time I don't bump into the camera but I did didn't I sorry and for me really it doesn't matter that it's not coming out exactly the same as the first one because it is going to be different. I'm going to pour that green because I'm going to try to use up all of the resin that I made. And then I'm going to blue on the outside. And then I am going to add my stone. Turquoise. This time, mix with the kind of a translucent turquoise. Like I told you before, there's no recipe to this. Just do what you want to do. I'm going to green this. And what I'm doing now is uh, 
making sure my stones are going to stick. I'm going to blue it. And the resin is already getting hard, yay! I'm going to put my gold drops in again. I don't have any clear, so I'm just going to do a thin green. Wow, that looks cute like that. Should I let it stand or something? Well, I'm going to drag just because I dragged the other one. Drag, 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 and drag, drag. And again, we're not, I'm not going for matching peers as far as, you know, the design. I do want the colors to match. And I'm going to let it stay like that. Oh, my little bling. Because I'm the bling queen. Just a little bit of bling makes everything perfect. And Romy, this is for you. Thank you for your service. Thank you. And thank you for being a good father to my grandsons. And thank you for coming into my life and giving me a sister. So that's it for now. We are going to have to wait for this to dry it's weird because it looks crazy right but in the end it will look very beautiful So for all you crafters out there who are afraid to try resin, I'm saying just get in there and do your thing. I mean, it can come out any way that you want it to. It's art and it's yours. And as long as you love it, that's all that counts. So like I said, in an effort to use all the resin, this is what we got. And I'm actually thinking I'm going to just put a little couple of drops down here and drag it across. Just take this spoon and drag. And then I'm going to go up to the top and do the same thing. see what happens. That looks very pretty, doesn't it? Should I do it to the other one? Is that a yes? I'm going to have to do it off camera because the other one's underneath the camera. Peace, people! Peace and love. Peace and love.